There are so many challenges right now and a lot of genuinely existential threats to humanity. But I think the, the power of games has potential to address some of those challenges. Our goal at Eline, we want to bring diverse voices and perspectives to the medium. We did a game called Beyond Blue with BBC Blue Planet 2 and Ocean X. Welcome to the Western Pacific. I'm Dr. Mirai Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. We're best known for a game called Never Alone that we did with an Alaska Native tribal organization, which is a fascinating story. Imanga kanga. We put together a team, and it's a game based on a story passed down thousands of years, which is fascinating. The Cook Inlet Tribal Council, they became our largest investor, and they wanted to share their stories with a global audience. We did a lot of video interviews uh, as our research. I'm in the back. I'm from the Arctic Ocean. And when we watched these interviews, we, we wanted our players to hear the, the inspiration for the game. We've had over uh, 10 million players, uh, and many have essentially watched a documentary on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC. That is just absolutely critical that, that we do anything we can to reclaim those parts of our past that, that have seemed to have gone by the wayside. That's, that's a huge challenge. There are a lot of accelerating phenomena right now. There's accelerating technologies, whether it's AI. Humans could become extinct from artificial intelligence. The world should not be scared of me. I'm here to help people. Bioengineering. What happens when humans begin combining biology with technology? Any number of accelerating technologies that are going way faster than our institutions can keep up. And that disconnect is very, very dangerous. There's accelerating climate change. There's accelerating social and cultural phenomenon. Millions of people being displaced. So the conflagration of all of those challenges are creating a lot of, of uh, genuinely existential threats to humanity. Almost all of those technologies also offer incredible opportunities. And so how do we maximize the positive, minimize the harm? I really believe in you. How we mediate, how we listen, how we understand each other is becoming critical to solving any of these challenges. Do you want me to help you stop crying? I do think games can serve a role in all of the above. It's not easy, and there's very different ways to do it and theories of change, but I think the, the power of games has potential in each of those challenges. Games in and of themselves, they let you step into a role, take on an identity, that's empathy, and a lot of people feel like they don't have agency in the real world. But you have agency in a game, and that might help with agency in the real world. I think there's an enormous opportunity across playing, watching, and making towards everything from addressing social impact challenges to developing critical STEM, STEAM workforce development skills. We know we've done our job right if the gamers share the passion for harnessing the unique power of video games to improve the world.